The James Webb Space Telescope has been breaking all boundaries and blowing minds since the first images have come out just a few weeks ago. Pushing limits of astronomy and astrophysics into new realms. Literally the edge of the universe. Or is it? According to the pictures, it's not the edge of the universe. It's just the beginning of the unknown. And a new discovery, new observations coming out just the other day are no different. Now the James Webb Space Telescope images showing mysterious, oddly shaped rings around a distant star called WR140 leaves astronomers a bit puzzled with one astronomer calling it bonkers. Now the JWST, or the James Webb Space Telescope, observed uniquely shaped rings around a distant star in an image shared by citizen scientist Judy Schmidt. The boxy rings around the star in the constellation Cygnus, called WR140, that's 5,600 light years from Earth. Mark McCaugrian, a member of the James Webb Space Telescope Science Working Group, initially said, well, that's bonkers. And just for some context, WR140 is a Wolf Rayet star. These are massive, very luminous, and tend to be surrounded by dust that can be shaped into strange shells, according to this team. But that's really not how they describe them. Now, according to the team, and I quote, Nope, I don't know what this is. Some kind of spiral nebula around WR140. I'm sure we'll find out more later, according to Schmidt. But this isn't a spiral at all. These are concentric rings. And how any astronomer would call this a spiral is beyond me. Simply looking at the geometric pattern, you can clearly see that these, they're concentric rings. Now, Mark McCaugrian, a senior advisor for science and exploration at the ESA and a member of the team at James Webb, well, not only did he say it's bonkers, but he corrected a few things. The six-pointed blue structure that we're looking at here is an artifact due to optical diffraction from the bright star WR140. And this is in reference to the way that Webb's mirrors bend light to create the spikes. But the red concentric rings, the boxy stuff, that's real, he said. And in fact, is a series of shells around WR140, actually in space around a star. Now, McCaugrian noted that WR140 is a Wolf Rayet star, which eject much of their hydrogen into space and tend to be surrounded by dust that can be shaped into strange shells by a companion star. Now, many of you, if you've ever heard of the Sapphire Project, have seen this exact form in the lab being created in a containment unit by the Sapphire team. And we're going to end tonight's video on some of that information. Because what the James Webb Telescope is showing us in these images and proving is that the universe is electric and consists of 99.9% .9 plasma. And that plasma is electrified and is being confined in this case due to double layers, which we'll get to in just a moment. So this is absolutely fascinating. Let's get to on with some more quotes from the team, and I quote, yes, those nested squircular, that's what they're calling these, square and circular is squircular, those nested squircular rings are real, according to Ryan Lau, an astronomer at Nori Lab and principal investigator of the project that acquired the observations. Our paper on this has been submitted, so please stay tuned for the full story. So they've already done the analysis, and the paper is in for peer review. Now Schmidt, who dropped the bomb by releasing this image, replied on our own thread, 
They do look like airy rings, but they aren't. They're shells of gas and dust. And that right there proves our point that we'll get to at the end of the video. Now, the red shells are real physical structures around the Wolf Rayette star. And these stars are famous for such things carved out of their dust as it ejects by the orbits of binary companions. But there's no evidence for that. They, that's just a made-up fairy tale story to explain some things they can't explain. So, it's kind of embarrassing, the state of astrophysics today. But luckily, the paper was published in the Astrophysical Journal, and we'll, we'll get some time to marinate on it. The title is Resolving Decades of Periodic Spirals from the wolf Rayette Dust Factor, Factory WR112. Oh, no, that was their previous paper. My bad. The new one is going to be at about this star. So they've already published one, uh, it looks like back in 2020, on some rings on another wolf Rayette star. So... We will be interested to see what the new analysis shows and if they do mention Electric Universe or Plasma Universe or Double Layer at all. Now, according to Wikipedia, Wolf Rayet stars, often abbreviated as WR stars, and in this case, um, it is WR140 that is in question. That's actually the best picture, in my opinion. Now, these wolf Rayet stars are rare heterogeneous sets of stars with unusual spectra showing prominent broad emission lines of ionized helium and highly ionized nitrogen or carbon. The spectra indicate very high surface enhancement of heavy elements, depletion of hydrogen, and strong stellar winds. The surface temperature of known wolf Rayet stars range from 20,000 Kelvin to around 210,000 Kelvin hotter than almost all other kinds of stars. They were previously called W-type stars, referring to their spectral classification. But they're just electric stars, like all stars. And in this case, very powerful electric stars. And astronomers are freaking out. And it's not because of the concentric rings, but the rectangular shape. That just shows you something about the state of astrophysics. Now, in fact, what we are witnessing are double layers. These are structures in plasma that consist of two parallel layers with opposite electrical charge. And the sheets of charge cause a strong electric field and a corresponding sharp change in voltage. You can get multiple rings, 7, 11, 9, and in this case, a lot. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's at least 18 visible. Now these double layers correspond to sharp change in voltage or electrical potential across the double layer. Ions and electrons which enter the double layer are accelerated decelerated or reflected by the electric field. And in general, double layers, which may be curved rather than flat, separate regions of plasma with different characteristics. Double layers are found in a wide variety of plasmas, from discharge tubes to space plasmas to Birkeland currents, supplying the Earth's aurora, and are especially common in current-carrying plasmas. And here we can see a paper in 1982 showing observations of double layers and solitary waves in the auroral plasma. So it's well known. And there has even been a team, the Sapphire Project, which consists of many scientists that have to do with the Thunderbolts Project, but scientists specifically that are working on plasma physics, plasma cosmology, and the, the electric universe model. And before we get into this video, remember what this looks like. Because the team had no idea what they would witness when they turned on their quote-unquote artificial plasma sun at the Sapphire Project. Inherently unstable and not yet producing electricity. Sapphire is a medium temperature plasma reactor, currently producing a controllable stable plasma 
which can be generated at will and run continuously over extended periods of time. Sapphire produces no environmentally dangerous or detrimental side effects. Self-organizing systems are a natural process occurring throughout nature. Holy macaroni! That looks like the image we just saw, only with a triangular, circ tri tricircular, <laughs> tricircular. Uh, look at this. Beautiful. Sapphire forms its own electromagnetic containment field into a self-organizing plasma. It uses hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. Now remember the Wolf Rayette star also uses hydrogen? or detrimental side effects. So let's just look at some of the self-organizing double self -organizing layers here. Self-organizing systems are a natural... These are the self-organizing double layers from the Sapphire Project. One, two, three, four, five, six shells. You can see how the shells are decreasingly dense as we travel out from the main anode here. The plasma shells have less and less density. And this is all thanks to the Sapphire team that we can see images like this that are extremely important because we're now witnessing them thanks to the James Webb and we can also notice the same feature of less and less density as we move out from the center of the anode. Holy macaroni! If you don't know about the Sapphire Project and their plasma reactor and their self-organizing plasmas, well... Please watch the entire video. Process occurring throughout nature. Sapphire forms its own electromagnetic containment field into a self-organizing plasma. And not yet. Self-organizing systems are a natural process occurring throughout nature. Sapphire forms its own electromagnetic containment field into a self-organizing plasma just like the Wolf Ray at Star 140. And now we're confirming it. We're confirming that electrical phenomena are not new. Electricity is present wherever we find plasma. So why wouldn't it be present in the universe? That's what I'm asking. And the fact that all these old fogies and even new students in astrophysics and plasma physics are still being taught the standard model of cosmology is almost embarrassing because it is 100% outdated and debunked at this point because we know that plasma is one of the four fundamental states of matter and 99.99% of the universe is in the plasma state. Not dark energy or dark matter. Plasma. Which means that magnetic fields and currents are almost everywhere in the universe. And if we can do an experiment on the surface where we can create self-confining double layers in plasma and then can confirm it using James Webb photographs, I think we've just proven that the universe, well, is electric. And that's a boom. To knowledge. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. All the links will be below, especially the living electric universe from the stars to the earth to you. We love each and every one of you. Become a Patreon, support the work we do. Be a hero and share this video. We love you. Be safe.